Okay, so that next part is for the people that want to create a landing page instead of a registration form. So the way we do that is we go to the top here where it says sign up forms, click there. And then we're going to click on create sign up form. And then choose lead generation landing page. And that will take us to the landing page editor. And um, in constant contact, you don't really have a lot of customization options for creating a landing page. This is kind of the basic layout they give you. And that's kind of what you have to work with. Um, the first thing we're going to do is go to the top here, click on the pen icon and give our landing page a name. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to name it YouTube um, checklist, uh, checklist landing page because I'm going to give away a free optimization checklist for people interested in growing on YouTube. This is kind of my lead magnet that I'm giving away in exchange for the email address. So I'm going to click save right here. And it's already taken because I already created one before. So let's say this is the second one, number two. And now uh, we can customize everything that we see right here. So we just go to the left side and go through each of these four menus right here to adjust everything the way we want it to. So click on content and here's where we can first of all change the logo on the top. Now um, what I like to do instead of putting a, a logo right here, I like to um, put a cover of my lead magnet. So I'm going to upload a cover of my YouTube checklist. So I'm going to click choose logo and I've already uploaded this right here. So I'm going to click on this um, right here, click insert and this will insert this um, kind of as a logo, but it's, it's really like a cover of the lead magnet. Now as a headline, um, I'm going to just put in, um, get my YouTube SEO checklist here. And then as a description, I'm going to put enter your email address below to get instant access to this checklist. Um, now the fields we will look at uh, just in a moment here. Then the next step would be the button right here. I'm just going to change this to, um, to download. And I'm also going to change the, this is the next part here. This is the thank you page. So when people type in their information right there, they will get to the next page, which is the thank you page. And you can switch to that on the top here. Just click thank you page. And this is how it looks right like currently. I'm going to change the title as well um, to thanks, check your email inbox because I want people to actually go to their inbox, open my email, and then they will see the download link there. And that way I already get um, people to open my email, which helps the delivery, uh, my delivery rates. And also they, it makes them familiar with my emails. So um, that's what I'm going to put here in the description. I'm just going to say again, check your email inbox and download the checklist now. Cool. Then um, there's another option you can do if you want people to be able to download it right here on this thank you page. You can just activate this on the bottom right here and then you can either redirect to another page like a Dropbox page or you can just select, um, you can upload this document, this PDF document on your Constant Contact account and then they'll be able to download it right here. But that's not really, not really what I want to do so I'm going to uncheck this. Okay, so we have um, finished the content section. Next, let's go to the design section. Um, you can change the background and all that kind of font stuff. So just take some time and see what kind of looks well to you. It uh, looks good to you. And then the button color, I'm just going to change that to a green. Let's choose, uh, let's choose this one. No, let's, let's choose this one right here. Um, cool, that's pretty much everything I'm going to do in the design section. Then contact fields. I only want to ask for the first name. So I'm going to uncheck the last name right here. And I don't want to make it uh, mandatory to give me the first name. So I have this unchecked right there. So this looks good to me. Um, let's go back and then let's go to settings. And now we have to choose a list. So what list will people go to when they enter their information here? So I actually created a YouTube list specifically for people interested in YouTube. So that's the list I'm going to choose right here. Um, I'm going to choose YouTube and then that's pretty much it. Um, you can also kind of customize the URL. So um, let's say this is YouTube checklist. Cool. Um, you can't really put it on your own domain, which is kind of um, not so cool, but uh, you can change the last part of the URL of your landing page. So once it's done, click to the top right and click on publish. 
All right, so now our landing page is kind of finished and we can check it out by just going on this link right here, opening a new tab. And this is how it looks like when you send people to this landing page link. And when people sign up here, um, you will get their email addresses on your email list and you can send them emails.